Okay, I'm sitting here with Power of Evil from the Unicorns of Love, who just won against Copenhagen Wolves, and we will talk about the role of the coach and the upcoming patch, 5.13. So, can you explain us what does your coach really do, like especially in Champ Select and when you prepare for the upcoming matches? Okay, so over the week when we are playing scrims, he is sitting behind us, watching our games, Uh, looking over our games, what are our mistakes, what did we do good, so we, tr we can work around that. We can work either on our bad things as, as our good things, so it's like really versatile. Um, before the upcoming matches, we are preparing the champion section, what we expect them to pick, what we want to pick in the champion section, what we like trained the weeks before, and in the champion section he is mostly giving ideas what we can pick up now, what he thinks is strong, As an example, today we wanted to pick the Kotmar-Shen combination mm -hmm. because Kotmar gets even more safer with the Shen ultimate, so we picked it up. So you said that you were as well sort of scared of the Lulu and the Juggernaut combination. Can you elaborate on that? Okay, so we as a team are playing not perfect against the Juggernaut combination. Uh, the Juggernaut is four, like three, four support champions combined with Kotmar, AD carry, and The Lulu is, uh, when they picked up the Lulu, it's like the key point or like the key champion with what you're going to play. So we were just scared in general that they're going to pick the Lulu Kotma combination. So we were like, I can pick Kotma into like nearly everything because I played the champion like a thousand times already in like every matchup. So I was confident in just picking it blind and hoping for the best in the game. Like playing passive, doing plays around the other lanes kind of let me alone and yeah. it worked out. <laughs> okay, coming to the new patch 5.13. So what do you think will happen to the esports scene or the competitive scene with all those AP changes coming up? I think the biggest point is Scott Ma. With the new Leandris and Rylas buff, he's going to be even stronger than he is already. I think Rylas is going to be a really good pickup for most of the midliners because At the moment, there's like a lot of consistent damage, not many burst champions. Like, we don't really see LeBlanc anymore, Ari. We mostly see like Azir, Kogma, AD poke champions. So, I think in general, it's going to be a lot of sustained damage. So, Luandri's Rylas might be a really good combination in an upcoming patch. Nashers, I'm not 100% sure anymore, but I think it, from my view, it got buffed. But I think it's like, it uh, depends on the midline. I think if you midliners see it as enough, Okay, do you think we will have more utility majors right now? Because it's a lot about poke and just AP stacking. We almost entirely see only like the Void Staff, Ludens, like all those items which are built out of Needless Leader and Trot. Do you think we will have like a rise of utility majors? I think it's going to be... I think it's sticking with poke champions first of all, but I think the, in, the next, in the upcoming weeks There will become there will come more control matches as Oriana. Maybe we even see a brand. I don't I don't know. I think control matches will be a thing now with the new items because it's easier to build. Azonia is because it costs less. Rylice is really strong on the champion like brand because he consistently slows someone. I just think that control matches will be coming into the meta. Okay, and a question specially pointed towards you. Um, there are a lot of bug fixes with Syndra, with her yeah, mechanics towards Scatter the Week. Yeah. Are you looking forward to that and are you maybe planning on bringing her back to the LCS stage? Well, yeah, I'm really happy about the recent uh, bug changes or like bug fixes because after the last LCS game, I think I had two times the stun bugged for me and my team was really frustrated about <laughs> it. They were like really negative about it. They were like, We're not going to play with a bug champion anymore, <laughs> and even so, we mostly like get ahead with the champion. They just don't think it's a good idea playing with like the bug stun, and so I didn't pick it up recently. But with the new changes, I think I'm going to play it again. Yeah, nice. I think a lot of fans are looking towards it. And yeah, regarding your fans, do you have any more shoutouts towards them? Any words? Well, so I want to thank every fan who is supporting me throughout the LCS, and hopefully. You guys are continuing to support me in the playoffs and maybe even reach Worlds, which would be like awesome. Yeah, thank you for the interview and good luck reaching Worlds. Thanks.